term myself, I don't have the ability or the, the time to read the statutes that are belonging to all of these policies. So I trust that the supplier of this information is doing their due diligence and their homework because we're contracted with them to do so. I, I agree. And the, the idea for us is management, let's call it, is to trust and verify. Find so. a board member that we should change then. If you looked at all these laws, tell us where the problem is. Can you repeat that for the camera, please? Yes, if you looked at all these laws, as you say you have, what is the problem? Where is the discrepancy? Okay, so first of all, whereas I do look at the laws that these pertain to mm -hmm. and how they get applied, I also then go to my constituency and ask them what they think, and then we make a decision because it's not our decision to do that. So who it's did our you decision. Go to? Who did you go? Which constituency? When did you get this, Miss Spinelli? Pardon? When did you get your first copy of this? Uh, by email, was it? Yeah, well, so when did you get it? Today. Excellent. Yeah. So you got it today. How many constituents did you consult? Well, I'm not the one who said I do it. <laughs> I know you said you didn't do it. I think that's very comical. My question is who did you go to in the last 24 hours that you sent it to? Who did you go to? I, I sent it out to as many people as I could Ooh, when so I was at work give, today. Give me some. You give want a me list? Some I, want to contact I gave it to him. Okay, who else? Fred's here. I don't see anybody else here. Okay, but here's the funny part. No, of the people, I'm 100%. If I only gave it to one, I'm at 100%, correct? <laughs> that they cared and they showed up. I, I don't want 100%. I want 250%. So give me at least two and a half more. If you're going back to the law, the constituents don't have the ability to understand where all the laws are coming back from in the state of education. Right? You didn't even give them to them. You didn't even give them the it opportunity. It doesn't matter, David. What doesn't matter? To it give doesn't them? matter. The people can't do what the can't decide what the laws are that the, the, the district has to live by based upon PDE and federal law. They don't. They can't make that decision. And most of them. You can't saying, override what the state tells you and what the federal government tells you and how you're supposed to do things within your district when it comes to legal statutes of sexual harassment, discrimination, and those types of policies. Correct. You have to follow the law. I completely agree. Correct. You have to follow the law. So the law is coming down from those organizations. And this is a subset of that law, correct? Filtered through that organization that provided to us. Subset. Yes. It is being recommended that these are revised, I shouldn't say changed, revised because they're already in place to meet the requirements in the U.S. Department of Education Office for Civil Rights. So Unless I needed something, I wouldn't go out and look for it. Okay. So did you read what this thing says you're supposed to do? Please I just got it today, David. I know, so please. Just because you got all the time today to sit and do this, I didn't. That's why we're talking to Mr. Cleaver about it. That's why we're finding the details. So we can go back and look at this, and then the board can look at it as well. Okay. Why do you keep harping on the fact that I got it yesterday and I didn't read it yet? Because it says right in here what the Well, I didn't read it do. yet. Maybe you did, but that's okay. You don't have to criticize it. I apologize. You know it. I apologize. No, I got the it's, a, it's like, our job you're Mr. Wonderful. Okay, you're Mr. Wonderful. Great. Maybe you can put that on it, that I said you're Mr. Wonderful. But you know what? I didn't have the time to look at it. So go, going back to, to this, the definitions 